All right, Java's winning good, Zoll. I, uh, hmm. I don't know. My uh, new camera should have arrived by now. Here I am using this one. It's going to blur on me. Alrighty, so church news time, and it's the Friday night edition. This is where the church keeps secrets from you, because they know you're not going to check the church news, but if you do, you're not going to check it Friday night. Just like the news, they drop the bomb on Friday night so that nobody will see you and know about it. <laughs> Our government will do the, the bomb dropping and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, two months ago, the... ABC4 News Utah reported on YouTube, little clip, Navajo Nation leaders express frustration after Congress drops Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. So in case you didn't know, nuclear testing in America used to be performed right next door to South Utah, where the Navajo lived and where Mormons in Southern Utah lived. And they were all exposed to radiation. And typically the type of cancer that results was leukemia from the radiation exposure. Uh, my grandpa, my mom's mom, or mom's dad, I had leukemia, but it was late in his age. Uh, he had served in World War II uh, out in the Pacific and uh, was eventually stationed in Alaska where he uh, performed surgical operations on the soldier's teeth as he was a dentist, an officer as well. And, uh, and so he uh, used uh, radiation in his dental treatment to take uh, snapshots, radiation snapshots of people's teeth, along with me. But uh, yeah, they're, they're not happy with this. And so, then, in 2020, Utah went through a drought, and the state of Utah forced the Navajo Nation to relocate because there's no water on their land. And so a year ago, finally, there was a historic water rights agreement signed for Utah residents of Navajo Nation. <laughs> so that one's an even funnier one, because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was responsible for the drought here in Utah. As... Uh, they uh, had stolen the water from the Great Salt Lake to use for their properties. And so when the drought happened in 2020, and the church hemmed and hawed, and when it was made a big deal, and the legislature was trying to figure out how are we going to get water in Utah? Oh no, the Great Salt Lake is releasing toxins. We're all dying. <laughs> it's the end of the world. Yeah, and then the church said, oh, hell, yeah, well, we can donate some water we'll be responsible neighbors donate you stole the water just like you stole people's money hoarded it all and so yeah now that we're no longer in a drought there's now a historic water rights agreement <laughs> and even yesterday ABC4 News, again on this. The previous one, the water rights, was from Fox 13 News Utah, as I'm checking on the YouTube search. 
a Utah man was convicted of murdering his girlfriend in the Navajo Nation. So, yeah, that's an interesting twist as well. So, knowing that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints under President Russell Marion Nelson has screwed over the natives who have served our country, Navajo was the... Uh, code language during World War II that helped us win the war against the Japanese. And the Japanese couldn't decipher Navajo. So we have the Navajo code breakers to thank for that. And their service to America in World War II. And Nelson screwed them over. And so, church news? Yeah, that's the bombshell. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a blatant outright fraud lie con seditious conspiracy, terrorist nation, and terrorist organization, etc, 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 for the one and only one, even though everything, but it should have been obvious to every single Mormon. The Book of Mormon, 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2. It is written in the learning of the Jews. And so therefore, as President President Spencer W. Kimball is wrong to put another testament of Jesus Christ. And it's anti-Semitic, and that spits in the face of our founder, Joseph Smith, and it destroys the Book of Mormon. Any Mormon that continues to remain in this church and argue with me over it, sending me hate comments and death threats because you want to be left alone to be haters, Bleep you. Bleep you all. The Book of Mormon prophesies and testifies that this church is evil. It's the great and abominable church. And you are illiterate or in denial if you can't figure that out. Because you obviously don't love the Book of Mormon and you don't believe it. And so, it was actually yesterday. They threw it up after I did the church news yesterday on the 15th, not the 16th. They love to do those kinds of things because they know my video on Fridays may not be seen as often by many people. And it doesn't matter, I'm being shut down on video views today anyway. The First Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints welcomes Navajo Nation President Dr. Boo Nigren and his wife, First Lady Jasmine Blackwater Nigren, to Temple Square on Thursday, February 15th, 2024. Yeah, it's a church administration building. What the hell? <laughs> Temple Square. Yeah, and then they put, the briefing gathering was held in the church administration building. So they're... they're they're blowing this up out of proportion to get Mormons all excited and happy and thinking the church is true. Exposing you as the enemy for not understanding this is not Joseph's church. So blatantly obvious. And even Mormons who leave the church still are ignorant and illiterate, thinking that Joseph Smith started all this. It's like you have no clue what a bully is, what an abuser is, yet you know this church are bullies and abusers. <laughs> and you can't make the connection to what they did to Joseph. They murdered him. They stole his religion. They stole the Book of Mormon. And they changed it, just like Utahns do to the Navajo merchandise. The dream catchers, for example? Yeah. Go show your little dime store dream catcher to them and they'll go, oh, you stupid white man. <laughs> you can't culturally appropriate something and change it for you. It doesn't make it. Navajo anymore. It doesn't make it Jewish anymore. It doesn't make it Mormon of Joseph Smith anymore. It's different. It's not the same. 
So Christians, you stole the Bible from the Jews. Give it back. Islam, too. They both claim that the, the Jewish Bible is correct and that the Ten Commandments are correct. Well, those are the Jewish Ten Commandments. They're not talking about your gods. Your gods are the false gods that the Jewish God is telling you to be weary of and warned of as they hadn't even come into existence yet. And the Jews are 16 million and combined together Christians and Islam are over 4 billion. And who's the victim again? And so yeah, this is not a friendly social call. And they're not over for tea and crumpets. <laughs> they're not there to learn about the church and about temples and the Book of Mormon. Uh-uh. This is a business transaction. The Navajo Nation have been screwed over by the state of Utah under the orders of the church and now the one who caused their problems are now screwing them over again with a business deal. The church will profit from whatever deal they made. And they won't tell us what the deal is. We might find out in the news in the future if we have enough time left. So, no. Yeah, they, they, they give you a hint as to what it's about. The Arizona native, the president of the Navajo Nation, is committed to bringing basic necessities such as water, power, and good roads to every Navajo home. <laughs> That's what they're there for. The church caused their deprivations. And so now the Navajo Nation is thinking they're going to work with the church to get these things that the church had taken away with from the first place. But the church now wants them to pay up in order to get them. So the church can profit. This is how evil the church is. I see it. Why can't Mormons? <laughs>